Try and get speed, try and get speed. Oh, short. Just trying to land inside the bowl. Didn't make it. All right, so I'm about to go meet Dennis at that sand pit that you just saw me do that little jump at. I'm starting at the top of the map in New London. I'm going to meet Dennis at the sand pit where 395 and 95 meet. We're going to ride through the Nihantic State Forest over to Frank's, do Frank's loop, head back to Nihantic State Forest, do part of Traceman's loop, head to the power lines. Um, from the Montville power lines, we're going to head back to New London and then back to Bates Woods. I end up doing a loop twice. It's a long story. We won't get into that. So right now, I'm heading over through the projects to get to Bates Woods, which is A park and behind the park there's a old dump where a lot of the kids around here like to ride it with ATVs and dirt bikes um, nobody messes with them so it's a cool little, cool little local area to ride ATVs and dirt bikes it's, it's definitely small not much but for a kid is a awesome place Alright, so we're going to try to keep it 90% trails and 10% street today. Here we go, a little jump. Alright, and here goes the landfill that I was talking about. I used to fly RC airplanes out here. There was an old guy that did it. And I haven't seen him in a while. I'm not sure if he's still around or not, but they definitely don't do it no more. All right, so here we go. Um, like I said, there's a lot of trails around here. The kids don't really use them as much. They like to wheelie on the pavement on that first section when I came in. So the trails are overgrown. There's some trails over there to the left of me, which are overgrown. I'm just going to head straight through here to the pavement so I could um, go up through Bates Woods, the park which I was talking about, to get to Waterford. So right now I'm in New London. There goes the New London dog dog pound and the dog catcher. Uh, this is Base Woods Park. There's a couple baseball fields, playground. This is where people think that I'm talking about. When I say I'm gonna go ride Base Woods, this is what they think I'm riding, but no, I'm, I'm talking about behind Base Woods, the, the dump, the landfill. So here we go. Now we're in Waterford. I'm going up into this neighborhood right here so I could get into the back of the Bannon Airport. Alright, so I missed the turn, so I had to circle back around. I, I always miss that turn. Um, into the back of the Bannon Airport. There's a lot of property back here. A lot of trails. This is not a good spot. Um, if you have a bike that doesn't have a license plate on it, or if you have some like small kids or whatnot, you can come out here and do some do some loops. There's all different loops I hate to do. So, like I 
see I'm flying through here. Um, you heard my phone ringing earlier. That was Dennis calling. He's already at the sand pit. Of course, I'm late. Get onto the pavement. Hey, that fence wasn't there before, so you could go straight through. But now you have to hit this pavement, and go around it. Now they started. Um, it was like putting up power lines or something, and then like left that fence. Took all their trailers or whatnot and left that fence. So I don't know what they're doing with that. But anyway, back into the dirt. All of this is the abandoned airport. So that's ninety five Interstate ninety five. We're gonna go underneath it. Alright, so this is just the road that I was on. We're going underneath. never really gets too deep back here so it's really nothing to worry about there's some sand which might freak you out but nothing to worry about as far as getting stuck I like to ride the bike and like I'm on 450 when I'm in here all right so now we're on the side of Walmart on um, this is all of the trails that are behind Home Depot, Target, Crystal Mall. You'll never know what you see out here. You might come across 20, 30 um, dirt bikes and quads out here. As you see back there, some free wood. Anybody need some free wood? Free wood. So there we go. Flying through here. Um, there used to be a lot more technical trails in here, but they're all overgrown. And after Hurricane Sandy, um, nobody's really clear, um, cleared them. So there's just this like fast stuff back here, really. Which I mean, most people like. Uh, I blow through it in a couple minutes, so it gets old. But if you're, if you're new to riding, or if you don't got nowhere to ride, this is definitely a good spot to ride. Um, as long as you're respectful, the police don't mind you riding back here. Alright, this little bridge right here. It's, it's funny, whenever I, I ride out here at nighttime, I always hear wolves howling. rocky section um, I'm gonna go to the right it's a little harder but it's, sh it's shorter and I'm in a rush so I go this way whenever I'm by myself I go this way I seen um one time I came across a h1 Hummer on this hill right here it was some guys that were in the Coast Guard one of them were driving it and three of them were like spying the guy spotting the guy it was there there was it was his own personal Hummer. He was back here messing around. Um, Jeeps come out here at nighttime and stuff like that all the time. Go off roading. All right, so we're coming down to Crossroads, which Nation Motorsports is on. It used to be a good shot, but now they're so difficult to deal with. They got so many new parts guys that like. 
you have to re remind these guys that you're not gonna pay double what you, you're what you're used to paying. So you always gotta go get Scott or Ryan. And it's, a, it's a big hassle. So if I can, I just go out to Plainfield, get my parts from Nation Watch Sports out there. The parts guys, they believe in giving discounts. The guys here, I don't know if they're trying to get a bonus or what, but they they be trying to rape you. So I. If you want to buy a bike, yeah, go to, go to Waterford, but if you need parts, stay away from those guys. Alright, so here we go. This section right here is a fun section. It was always open like this, but the section coming up, they started logging. Alright, so in here, they started logging, they smoothed it out. Kind of like hurt my feelings. I like the technical, bumpy stuff. It's good practice. This stuff used to be way rockier. My, my friend um, snapped his frame on that rock right there on his Raptor. On his Yamaha Raptor, he snapped the frame. So coming through here again I used to love this section it used to be, it used to be real dense a lot, a lot more trees with the log in it so this this hill I used to, it was like one of my favorite hills but now that they did what they did it's just, it's not that great no more. Alright, for some reason I'm not, I can't get into rhythm. This section, I'm so, I'm so fast at this section because I, I had to, I worked on that section because my friend John Amir one time came down from Newport, Rhode Island and kept up on, kept up with me in this section on his, um, on his quad. So after that, I, I worked on getting faster and faster in that section. All right, here we go. Come out to the power lines, make sure nobody's coming. Don't get ran over by a quad. Alright, so this section of woods up here, I actually got permission to ride on. ran to the guy one time and he was, he was actually he actually was glad that somebody was out here and killed him the trails he said that his kid used to ride him but they're older now or whatnot but fun little section there's, there's a lot more trails <coughs> um if you go like right or not but like I said I'm just trying to keep it moving through here get to the sand pits all right somehow I, I deleted about 10 seconds of footage so in part two, you'll be picking up where I'll be crossing Oil Mill Road. It's not that much footage that you're missing. Up here, you can actually see um, the bridge that goes over Oil Mill Road. You'll see the cars on it. Cars and the 
tried to trail the trucks. There you go. You just see them. Alright, so to be continued.